Uh, we knew about the cracks in our uh, health care system, each one of us on this committee. Uh, we knew uh, that an individual's health is influenced by a wide range of factors. Uh, but this pandemic has turned those cracks into a chasm. The burdens of the virus have fallen like a ton of bricks on minority groups and the vulnerable populations. Last year, I introduced the researching and ending disparities by understanding and creating the Equity Act, the REDUCE Act, H.R. 5246. The REDUCE Act will, will improve our data on vulnerable populations by giving states and localities more resources to understand impacts on public health. My goal is to reduce health disparities, and I hope everybody on this committee has the same goal. We need to look beyond the pandemic and closing the yawning gap in our knowledge, research, and translation is very essential to achieving health equity for all communities. You can draw a direct line from the structure, the structural and social factors that have made communities of color more at risk to, for infection and death and poor policy decisions that put these communities at risk. This casual relationship is crystal clear. In my district, and in the state of New Jersey. 13% of the state's population is African-American. 20% of those who have died of COVID-19 in New Jersey are black. And to simply dismiss this or point to it as a structural problem rather than coincidence is not enough. John Hopkins uh, University study found a nationwide the COVID-19 infection rate is predominantly black counties and in, in, in black counties is three times that of predominantly white counties and the death rate is sixfold higher.